I'm Lauren Quinn. I'm the Director of Hospital and Community Services for the Center for Donation and Transplant. Today I'm going to quickly take you through the steps needed to make a patch for a donor family quilt, like the one that I have behind me. Um, as part of our donor family aftercare packet, you do receive a brochure from us on how to make a quilt square. In the brochure is actually a template for creating the patch, and we ask that you follow these guidelines so that we can easily incorporate all of our patches into a quilt. Also in the brochure on the back is a quilt release form, and we ask that you fill out the information on the back of the form, um, pick one of the options, and then sign and return it to us when you mail us our quilt, your quilt patch. Without this form, we cannot incorporate your patch into one of our quilts, so this is um, really a necessary piece of paperwork that we need to go along with your square. use an 8 inch template for the square itself. So, for example, we cut out an 8 inch square of fabric for the purposes of the city. So the items you're absolutely going to need in order to make a patch include the fabric that you've chosen to use for the square, the scissors to cut out the fabric in the 8-inch pattern, and then you're also going to want a ruler so you can sketch out the 7-by-7-inch seven seven template that you have to use your design. Um, other items that you may want, depending on what you choose to include in the design itself, are buttons, pins, or appliques that represent your loved ones, fabric markers or fabric pencils that you can use to write something in to the design itself. And if you want to use photos, we would suggest that you purchase transfer paper and also have your photo and an iron that you can use to um, iron the photo onto the patch itself. So now that we've got a quilt patch with a 7x7 seven seven perimeter in which we can um, use to fill our design, you're going to want to think about what you want to include in the quilt square that is particularly significant or meaningful to you or represents your loved one. I'm going to show you a couple of finished patches that incorporate some of these items. So for example, the use of military pins for this particular patch was significant to this family. Um, this family chose to have um, Chinese symbols embroidered directly onto their patch. We also have the use of appliques in a patch like this. And people have used photos um, to directly express their loved one onto the patch itself.
So many families like to incorporate a photo of their loved one or their family onto their patch. So we're going to show you how to do that um, in an easy fashion. The first thing that you're going to need is the photo that you selected to incorporate into the square, and then you also need to purchase some transfer paper. And transfer paper can be found at a fabric or craft store or an office supply store. So you will need to print your photo onto the transfer paper using your own computer and printer. And once that is done, it will look like this. And then it is very easy to just lay the photo itself, you cut it out from the paper, and you lay the photo um, on the transfer paper directly onto your fabric, and you iron the back of the photo onto the fabric. So, we've got a very cute iron that did the job for us. So, um, this is what will look like once the photo has been ironed onto the back of the fabric. So you can see this is a really nice representation of this person and um, it shows up beautifully on the piece of fabric. When you're completed with your quilt, we're going to ask you to put it in a padded envelope and mail it to the Center for Donation and Transplant. And please make sure to include your consent form in the envelope as well so we know who's patched it. not need to be particularly skilled at craft to create a quilt square that is both meaningful and lovely. Um, in fact, if you are experiencing any difficulties and lots of assistance, we do have volunteers here. That